Hey, welcome to the Riot Podcast. Hey, everybody. Watch how fast I can run out the door. <laughs> Obi's ready for a recover. Let's call it a recovery day. Uh, that's exactly what I'm calling it. He's and fighting I'm- a bit of a cold or an infection or a <laughs> or an allergy is. or something like that. So we're we're getting this together, and then you're scooting. I'm I'm out. <laughs> I'm gone. Well, thanks for coming in. I know you're not feeling well. Well, you know what? Uh, I've only missed about a thousand days. Now, in fairness, I did those days from home. Uh, but you still. missed a thousand studio days. Yeah, so I, <laughs> I I really did want to come in. So here we go. Uh, in the podcast today, we talk about Tom Hanks' addiction. Mm-hmm. It's not as bad as what you might think. I'm sorry to say, the more I think about that, and I've thought about it in my head the rest of the morning, I'm just like, wow, if that's it. <laughs> if that's the worst you got. If that's the worst you got, then come on over. We got more. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the McDonald's meatball burger, a room for sale in the New York Plaza Hotel, uh, the NFL on Amazon, Kanye West, remote control robot tattoos, robo calls, and, uh, well, maybe a little bit about me looking for an Xbox online. Yeah, if anybody <laughs> catches any um, drops. Drops. Drops right. is the word. If anybody catches any of that, we check our text message, or at least I will over the weekend. So if you text me and Obi turns his phone back on this weekend, I'll let him know. So text if you find something for the uh, Xbox Series X. That's what he's looking for. Yeah, please let us know. So, hey, you guys have a fantastic weekend. Texting. Just text us a hello so that the message is there, <laughs> ready to go for the next time if you find it. Text and say hi that you're a podcast listener and your name to 877-2-RADIO-U. Oh, and hey, uh, it's not in this podcast, but... Uh, plans this weekend to watch all the superhero stuff that yeah. hit. Yeah, so we'll so, talk about it in the podcast on Monday. We definitely will. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye. The riot isn't all bad, but this is the worst of the riot. Radio U. So what are the first celebrities to get COVID-19? Because leaders go first. Yeah. Was Tom Hanks. You remember that last year when it was like, no. Well, some people were like, no, not Tom Hanks. Others I was, were like. I, I was one of those people. I was like, not Tom. Because <laughs> I think to we most. Need Tom. He's considered, you know, like, would it be our acting royalty or something? Maybe not Kinda, so much anymore, but was back in the day. To me, he just seems like in a world where everything I ever like always turns out to be what you didn't know is that behind the scenes, they were <laughs> he's probably. The the worst. He he seems to be maybe an okay guy. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Who knows? But yes, I agree. Seems like it. So, but he and his wife Rita Wilson, they're sixty four years old. They both had COVID nineteen last year, and I love this. Tom Hanks uh, wrote in the Wall Street Journal. I guess it was yesterday. Um, or maybe it hits stands today. I, I don't know which edition it's in because I don't read the newspaper. Um, but <laughs> this, I thought this was interesting. Uh, he said that uh, he had no Zoom schooling sessions to enforce. This is are his words. No children to parent. No job to perform remotely. So during a time of lockdowns, quarantines, and social distancing, solitaire seemed like a harmless enterprise. A salve for the mind and hands, a safety valve that meant having something to do. And so he started playing solitaire. Like Oh, I thought you meant like just his No. He was, he was having like, his own alone time. He straight up played solitaire. Oh, he must have been so bored. And he says that he's just like, I have wasted so much time with solitaire. <laughs> And he's trying to, he literally, in this thing, he's like, don't waste your time on it. And it was funny, the thing I thought is like, okay, for him it's solitaire, but like, you know, for us, when we look back on the year of the COVID thing, like, what would we say that Mm -hmm. we wasted Wasted our time time on? on. And we didn't I, stop doing things, I though. Say, <laughs> I didn't. I don't have any stories to tell. I worked harder during quarantine than I ever did and to him, before. I don't think he's looking at it the right way because he's saying he wasted time on it. What else would he have spent time doing? He had the time. He just chose to use it that way. It's not really wasting it. If he had something else that he was pushing off, 
in order to play solitaire, that's when you're wasting time. Well, you know, but he's saying that he's saying there are so many other things he could have done. Oh, you're just saying that. There was nothing else. (laughs) That's just something you say, I guess. That is just something that you say. (laughs) Yeah. Well, that's what he said. Is solitaire the card game? Yeah. Yeah, it's the one you can play by yourself. So, like, you can play it on your computer, but he was actually playing with with a deck of cards. Wow. Just boom, a deck of cards. He is old school. (laughs) He is really bored. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But that makes sense to me. Tom Hanks playing cards. Like, yeah. I, I see him not using a computer, but instead playing with a deck. So he just couldn't, uh, he didn't have anything else to do. No filming, no nothing. Just developed a, is he saying an addiction to solitaire? Or? That, yeah, kind of. He's like, mm. I can't stop playing solitaire. <clears throat> and the thing that's funny, though, is to think about it. Uh, so he was gambling. I, is that what we're saying? With himself, <laughs> that's, how you I, make, that's how you make it way worse. I heard Tom Hanks has a gambling problem. It's face cards. <laughs> He lost a lot of money. To himself. <laughs> to himself, but still lost a lot of money. Still. That's it's, how rumors start. <laughs> it's just kind of an odd thing to think, but like I'd never thought about it from that perspective. Like most of the people that I talk to were either trying to work or, you know, I always hear people talking about their kids or whatever. And he's just like, yeah, I, my kids are all grown up and I'm an actor and I'm wealthy. Which I mean, I know, cry me a river, but it's like, but what I did also, you do? but like, it's, but there's also that element of like, so I really have nothing to do. Yeah, when hearing that though, it's like I wouldn't mind trying to be that bored for a while, just seeing how it went. Can't, we haven't uh, even experienced boredom like he's saying he had. Can't say it's a different that, world, uh, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's a it different is. world. It is. Everything else is already done, and he had nothing to do. I will say, anytime somebody rich complains about anything, I'm always like, "Well, I'd like to try it your way." Yeah, let's just see if we developed a solitaire addiction. It'd be let fine. Me, let me get back to you about it. <laughs> Out of everything we could have developed a problem with, that is the sweetest, nicest one. <laughs> Right? <laughs> but, you know. It's, I just can't stop playing solitaire. <laughs> with the deck of cards from the comfort of my own home. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly. even online with a problem. <laughs> exactly that. What you're about to hear will live on the internet forever. Sorry, internet. The worst of the riot podcast. You see these hands, Nikki? Yeah, I see your hands. Touch the future. What do they touch? Yesterday, I drove a Tesla. Oh, you did? Ooh, did Have you, you like ever it? Done that? Not in one, no. Is it oddly still don't, quiet or Nikki, don't get in that car. Don't it because I want it. I, I <laughs> it am, is my style and my aesthetic, I I'm think. I'm not kidding. <laughs> as soon as I get into it, I thought about you the entire time I was in it. I was it just like, like this, this is Nikki up and down. That the Tesla is the Apple car. Really? It it, it just is. Aww. I mean, it was like going from a flip phone to to an iPhone in one step. It blew my mind. A lot of people in my neighborhood have them, so they're they're pretty common. I I just couldn't get over it. Like, I was amazed by it because, like, you just get in, like, the way, (laughs) anything from the way the car starts Mm -hmm. to how shockingly fast it accelerates to how smooth the ride is and the heads-up display, it's absurd what you can do in that car. Now, I have seen a lot of people who are unhappy with their Teslas. But I don't know about that. I, I don't know. I think that it, at least look wise and when you first get in there, it must be something. I, I can't speak to like I have paid almost zero attention to Teslas. Sure. Do you know why? Because I can't afford a Tesla or you know what? That's actually the wrong way to say I could. They're cheaper than they used to be. Yeah, I could afford a Tesla, but I choose to have other things like McDonald's and Xboxes. (laughs) That's the Tesla for him. All right. Like that's that's I I don't get some people like my friend who got the Tesla. He's just like in absolute. He loves it. Oh, he's so happy. That's nice. I loved how much he loved it. I thought it was amazing that he shared it with me to allow me to drive it. Yeah, because I. I wouldn't have let anybody drive it. I was like, man, Tim, you're so generous. Uh, you're letting me have it? <laughs> yeah. But I mean, like, I just, I'm telling you what, Nick, you like, I was blown away, away by, it. by the Tesla. It blew me away. And I did. The, the entire time I was just like, 
if Nikki ever <laughs> got in got it. in this car, <laughs> it would be less than a week. She would have to drive this car. I thought about it for a while because I drive so little. My commute is so short. Like, there's no reason why I can't have a car like that. Yeah. But then I have been a Jeep person since I started right. driving. So, right. like, I feel very loyal to Jeep compared to uh, the Apple of the cars, which would be the Tesla. Now, I don't want now, to. Now, if Apple came out with their own, maybe. I don't want to go back too far, Nikki, mm-hmm. but do you remember how you felt about your BlackBerry? Oh, yeah. Back when, baby Nikki had a BlackBerry before her iPhone And love. then you got an iPhone. I know, but it, I mean, I'm already loyal to Jeep. Like, <laughs> No, you were loyal to BlackBerry. But for a short very, amount of time. Very, just a very fact, short amount of time. I am aware of that, but I'm just <laughs> telling you, I... I was blown away by it. Well, they're so, cool cars. If anybody has any, um, they're cool. They're amazing. It, I was blown away by it. Like, it was just one of those things where, like, I it was delightful. It's so ridiculous, but I grinned. Like, I had this huge grin on my face the whole time I was driving it because it was just like, wow. <laughs> Have you ever seen my favorite part that I, I see is the, you leave it running with your dogs in it. And then on the display, it says, Hey, I'm doing fine. Cars running. Like, don't worry about me. No, I haven't seen that. Well, to me, I have a lot of dogs. Sure, like sure. I, I would totally get it just to be like, Hey, here, my dogs are staying in the car <laughs> and they're it, safe and sound. It was so cool. Well, neat. That's yeah. cool. I didn't think you were going to say that at all. I was like, what did Obi do yesterday? I, I know. And I mean, again, I feel like, you know, plenty of people own them and like, it's not that big of a deal, but it was my first like in the car encounter with it. And I now see why people are the so impressed. To it? Yes. Sure. I, I was so impressed. Uh, so I, I was, I was so impressed. Really, really cool. And Nikki, uh, I'll be looking forward to you getting one. Things are never as bad as they seem, except when it comes to the riot, riot. then they're worse. They're always worse. It's the riot on Radio U. Nikki is a firm believer in DoorDash. I, I and I try to break up with it every so often, but you know, if I have like 30, 40, 50 extra dollars, I'm just like just laying around. Just laying around. I'm like, yeah, let's get some <laughs> dinner for everyone. Why not? Why not? It's too expensive. And I know it's rough on restaurants, but it is convenient. <laughs> Man, I saw somebody tweet once and I loved it where they were just like, hey. Instead of going to get something, why don't we pay DoorDash three times as much to bring it to us? It's bad. Like, sometimes I'll do the math. Like, I'll go to the actual restaurant site where you can order it from. Yeah. And, man, you do the math. You are really sad when you find out the uh, <laughs> the increase that's in yeah. the pricing uh, compared to if you just order it from them. Well, here's a family in Detroit that DoorDashed Little Caesars. I'm not going to lie. I don't get that. You just go like, pick that up. If I'm going to Little Caesars, <laughs> I'm there because I don't want to spend any extra money. <laughs> I'm driving over there to pick up the stupid $5 pizza. That's not the pizza that you're paying extra on because Little Caesars, no offense, is Little Caesars. Like, it's known for being the inexpensive pizza. That's not good pizza. But I understand what they're saying because in this article, <laughs> they say she didn't feel like cooking. I didn't feel like cooking. So we decided to order a pizza. I get it. I got it. And so the beautiful thing, though, is you can watch this DoorDash driver walking up to the door. First off, he's carrying the pizza in a bag vertically. Why would he do that? Wouldn't he understand the pizza's just sliding around in there? That's not how pizza works. It's not how we carry pizza. It's not how it works. And then he puts it, oh my gosh, he like chucks it on the ground and the pizza falls out. Out of the so, box. So he just onto reaches the porch. down and starts shoving the pizza back in the box so he can deliver it. Well, they've, of course, got a camera on their doorbell, and they see the guy do it. So they call and complain, and at first they're like, yeah, we don't care. And eventually. DoorDash was saying they didn't care, or Little Caesars? Uh, I think it was Little Caesars. That said nothing, and they ended up calling DoorDash, and this this makes me a little sad, though I guess he earned it. DoorDash fired the guy. Yeah, They're you can't like, do that. Because can imagine if he did that for that, and all the times there wasn't a camera showing what went on. <laughs> I bet you they opened up the pizza and was like, what happened to this pizza, and then looked at their footage. No, they actually said they, ha- they were watching him deliver. Oh, they it. were? They were watching the whole time? He cleaned up the crumbs, and then they said he just walked off. They just wanted an apology or a refund or, you know, get other pizza. And 
that's when uh, they had to file a complaint with DoorDash. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, if I ever start door dashing and I'm way too cheap to do it, uh, I'm definitely going to get myself some sort of a camera for my front door. Oh, just <laughs> so you can catch everything. Just so I make sure I get to see everything. I haven't really had any delivery problems. I just normally have a problem with like the restaurant with its side of things, okay. but not its delivery thing. I bet you know of. Yeah, everybody's been cool. I mean, I, I can see them. You hide sometimes. Like, <laughs> you hide down so they don't see you waiting. Are they gone yet? Waiting by the door like, I can go out now and get the food. <laughs> no, I wasn't sitting around just waiting for this to show up. <laughs> About time. You had to pick up the other order, didn't you? <laughs> you had to do it. It's not where I'm at right now. <laughs> just let me eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> this is the Worst of the Riot Podcast. Good morning to Ashley. Excited for Falcon and Winter Soldier. <laughs> excited it seems like a lot of you guys are today so i don't know if it's out or yet or if everybody got up a little bit earlier and started watching it, any I'm of pretty it sure it is it's probably out already uh, because i see some people tweeting that they've seen it and they're not you know like insider yeah. disney whatever like they're just you know normies like you and me <laughs> well everybody if you're watching it over the weekend make sure you check in monday or just text us over the weekend on if you liked it or not yeah we will absolutely uh, be talking about it on Monday morning. I, you know, I'm spoiled for riches this weekend. I've got uh, brand new for all mankind. I have put that first because I wouldn't want anybody to miss that. <laughs> it might not be the popular one out of all not, that you're talking about, but it's not the one people are talking well, about. It's just purely based on its platform. I mean, it's an Apple TV show, which no offense is just not as talked about a lot of times compared to even the HBO Max stuff. Right. So then. Speaking of HBO Max, there's Jackson, Jack Snyder. Why do I keep doing that? Zach Zach Snyder's Justice League. All, is it four hours? (laughs) Whatever. (laughs) Up to four hours of it. And then there's Falcon and Winter Soldier. You got a lot of good stuff this weekend. And you had, don't forget the the blockbuster documentary on Netflix. Oh, I did want to watch that. That might be fun to watch. Yeah. So, you know, if you need a break from everything else. Do you know what I'm doing when I get get done today like you take I am, a nap first i don't know i i'll tell maybe you maybe lay I, down I, i'm turning my phone off yeah i'm not putting it in do not disturb i'm not throwing that silent switch you're just completely turning it I'm off turning it <laughs> off well you need to no 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 I no. Mean, no no what i was saying is sometimes when you don't feel well because obi's a little under the weather uh if you go it like you can't sleep, so maybe just go get some blankets, lay down, watch all this stuff. That'll make you feel better. Yes. You need to rest. Phone off. Get some Gatorade or some electrolytes. The whole blankety blank time. I've had COVID. I've had everything. The phone's been on. And now this. I'm right there. And I'll tell you what, like tipping point. The Ooh. phone is going off. You can get one of the uh, the free honey chicken biscuit sandwiches, go home, get some nuggets for lunch. Perfect. Like You'll feel all better after that. I'm done, Nikki. <laughs> I know, you're done. I'm done. We'll see you hopefully on Monday then. I'll Turn it back here. on before I'll Monday. I'll be here. But I'll tell you what, like, I don't want to hear. I don't want anecdotes. I don't want funnies. So like, up until, like, all morning, yeah, you should text us, 877-2-RADIO-U. Get it all done now. And if you're my friend and you've got my number and you need to get a hold of me, you better be making that call real soon. And if you need something from him, like over the weekend and you got are his nothing. friend, um, don't ask him this weekend. It's a okay. bad time. Just a bad time to ask. He's normally always happy to help, but not this weekend. Not this time. Well, you're going to have at least plenty of stuff down. to rest and watch. Heck yeah, dude. Bring it on. Maybe... It might be, because I know you are feeling under the weather, maybe it's not even a rest and watch on the couch, but you got to rest in bed bed. and watch there. It's not out of the question, Nikki. You're basically listening to a real-time cringe compilation. This is The Riot on Radio U. Nikki and I are always happy to hear from you as we sit in our brand new suite at the Plaza Hotel. (laughs) Is that where we broadcast from? Yeah, we do now. Hey, you know what? Our new, our, we got some updates to our studio. It might as well be. It's oh, so nice it, in I here. I mean, it feels like we're already there. <laughs> Chris did such an amazing job in here. He really did. So the Plaza Hotel's iconic Aster Suite uh, is on the market. What I didn't know is it's not something like, oh, I'll just get it and stay there. No, you can actually, you own it. Oh, like you, you buy it. You oh, buy so it's the not a Aster hotel suite. room? No. It's oh, you a, would live there. It's a residence. Mm. You could have it. 
Uh, so uh, it only costs, let's see, $39.5 million. Wow, so much money. It's now available, though, for a little under $20 million. It's oh, worth less. Oh, okay, so it's not a $20 million loss. It's that it's just $20 million. It's $20 million. Well, no, I mean, it, it's about a $20 million loss about what it used to be worth. Now right. it's worth way less. Um, it is 4,299 square feet, four bedroom, four and a half bath residence. It overlooks Central Park and Fifth Avenue. It's beautiful. It be so nice you live at the hotel and you still have your own place but i bet you can use all the hotel stuff i would love that right? all the food all the like hotel cleaning and the pool and everything (laughs) that'd be nice what's funny is like i like i normally am not interested in these kind of things the the decorations kind of very modern i'm a hundred percent on board how (laughs) That, You'd be fine with it. <laughs> you know what I think looks amazing is they have this uh, like window nook. What yeah. do you call that on the outside? It's a it's a turret, like a castle turret. Yeah, it rounds uh, around. Yeah, so it's this big round like three window space, and it's got a window seat around it. The idea of sitting there and just reading and having that view. Oh my gosh, that would be so incredible, so incredible, so fun, and it it's almost like a breakfast nook. But I would turn it into a, I sit at the window and read. <laughs> this is just where you're reading. Oh, I have a window seat at home and I do it all the time. Yeah, it is nice looking. Uh, it is, you know, it's its own style, though. It's 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 very expensive. Well, I mean, here's the thing, Nikki. I recently uh, came well, into some money. You had yeah. a mysterious deposit into your bank account this week. Yeah. And I, I mean, it's so much money. It's probably enough. You think they'd let you have a loan? <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, like, guys, look at this huge down payment I have—a deposit. Wow! Look. <laughs> well, so, get in line then. Everybody would have that same deposit. <laughs> man, I don't even have enough to like rent I'm this room. Trying to look through all this stuff, if, and for real estate stuff, what fascinates me is not just the actual payment for the price of the condo or the apartment or the the house it's the monthly association fee and if you've never experienced one of those in new york like they're, it's they're not inexpensive <laughs> sometimes each month it's more than what you might pay for like a car or, or, or your own house like it's so expensive so i'm trying to find what its uh association fee would be but it doesn't show yeah i was gonna say i don't see it here in the article but if but... it's like 20 million dollars to buy this place and it's right there at central park you know it's a lot of money oh man i'm telling you that staying in that room you would get to live that fantasy New York lifestyle mm-hmm. that you see in the movies where everybody's just bumping into each other at the market <laughs> and like whatever that right there. It, that's vacation New York. That's even nicer than that. You have to like go to experience what it would be like to really live in New York. And that's not always as glamorous. Oh, it doesn't look like this. Well, you're not even technically in that area. Can't afford it. So you're way out. Yeah. <laughs> Riot Podcast Radio U. You might not know this, but uh, it has been declared and decided that Obi and I are both fans of meatball subs. Oh, dude. <laughs> so I don't know if anybody else ever chooses the meatball sub, but we like it. Oh, yeah. Nikki, Joel, you told me about there's a pizza place. I love it. And she says they have killer meatball subs. That's the kind of knowledge I don't need to have. Next time. So now we got one last time and Eric and I split it. And then when we were done, we said, now we can, every time we order pizza from this place, we have to get a meatball sub too. It's good. But if you're a fan of meatball subs, what about a meatball hamburger coming from McDonald's in China? What would that? But it's not a hamburger. I thought at first it was like a hamburger would be on the bun topped with meatballs. Yeah. But this, think about like a sloppy joe mixed with meatballs. (laughs) The lettuce part throws me off. And there's mayo on it as well. And then a sesame bun. What what kind of cheese is that? That is. It's it's like a light colored cheese. Uh, Slice of cheese. They're just saying, is it like a. Yeah, it doesn't say like what kind it is. Is it a provolone? I don't know. (laughs) not sure that looks disgusting don't look at the cheese and the mayo and the lettuce no, if no. you just looked at the meatballs it the looks pretty good sloppy joe with the meatball like oh no no that feels like something that when you're like 
eight years old and you're convinced <laughs> that like you know what would actually be good. Adults are always serving up crap like let me into the kitchen. <laughs> this could be better. I'm going to take some sloppy joes and some meatballs. Boom. Well, you got the, yourself a sandwich. It's the big meatball burger. It's at uh, participating locations at McDonald's in China. It is a hefty serving, they're saying, of meatballs with a tomato meat sauce. So that's kind of like our sloppy joe. Right. Lettuce, mayonnaise. That is so weird. Slice of cheese on a sesame seed bun. There you go. Limited time. So, okay, seriously. Do you think that looks good? No. Well, not the mayo part. Not the lettuce part. Okay, I, would, right, I don't even right. know if I'd like that type of cheese. If I'm Co- just looking at the meatballs, yeah, that looks pretty good. With the sloppy joes? Yeah, I would. On I like sloppy sesame joe. Seed bun? Yeah, I like buns. We, we <laughs> like... We so like bread. What you're saying is basically there isn't anything about this you don't like, except it seems shady with that mayo and that lettuce. Well, I don't like mayo on anything, so just move that to the side. I okay. also now ask for lettuce off of everything, so put those over there. So I, it's not too bad. So you ask for lettuce on the side, or you just don't get it? No, I just don't get it anymore. I, my thing is this. is like I'm not a big lettuce fan, mm-hmm. but I can eat it if I have to. Yeah. But let me tell you what. If you don't like lettuce... You are absolutely getting the lowest, like, level possible of lettuce on, like, a McDonald's hamburger. Well, I don't like these shredded lettuce as oh, well, because then it's it's just a mess. Ugh. And it's yeah. not like that was giving you any health benefits. So not really. Why they act like it is, but it's like, come on. <laughs> so this looks okay. The meatball and the uh, meat sauce part looks pretty good. Like, I might make something with meatballs this weekend. Maybe looks, a sloppy joe. Oh, uh, it just looks gross. <laughs> so that's a no for that. Uh, no for me. From that, I'll only take part of it, so we could just split it and take parts out of it. But that is only at participating McDonald's. Not here. We don't do stuff like this. We we don't get these fun things, uh, but that'll be for a limited time. That looks too much like cow can or fancy feast. With Obadiah and Nikki on Radio U. Can I tell you something that I did that's really dumb? So, actually, well, you guys don't want to hear this. Well, now let us decide. Is this going to be... <laughs> How is this going to go? Okay. I Well, I was just thinking. So... I, like, thought I had a sinus infection. They gave me antibiotics. Yeah. I took a whole run of them. They did nothing for me. This was then, back earlier this year. This was when I got to go to all the different specialists and doctors and whatever. Um, and then they threw another prescription of antibiotics at me, which I filled. Yeah. And then I just didn't take because they're like, yeah, you don't have a sinus infection. Take them now. No. We haven't gotten to the dumb part yet. You didn't throw those away, did you? Yeah. <gasps> Why? I you know. always need a Why? I know. I know. When I look back. Did you flush them? What'd you do? I just threw them away. You're not supposed to just throw away. Those things are worth a lot. Not like usually when you go to the pharmacy, they're they're free or like for for your health, those things are worth a lot. When I think about it now. Was it recent? Can you go back and find them? When I think about it, it's just like, why did you do that? You always need antibiotics. Like, it wasn't like you had surgery and those were leftover pain pills and you were afraid that somebody was going to abuse them. It's an antibiotic. I know. Oh, no. Why did I do that? I have no idea. Like, Why? No offense to doctors when they say take the full antibiotic like set but even i i always keep a a couple to the side in case you get sick like another time and it's just an easy breezy one I, it was a whole, just take a few it was like a whole run of them that Aww. i just filled and they're like yeah you don't have to take them because you well why don't you go and look and see if maybe you have a like another refill on it a stash somewhere like a plus one or something yeah okay that's not a bad idea if but not I, you need to call your doctor at least try to get some more see the thing is um I don't have what I would call, aside from the coughing stuff, like I don't have any indications that it's a sinus infection. Except this, the incredibly stuffy nose. And the not sleeping. And the not sleeping. And it feels like the every cough. other sinus and the cough. Yeah. All you, right. Okay. This is the first time since before COVID, before October, you actually sound like you have your sinus infection. Okay. Whereas all the other times it was just COVID long haul like things. Not not today. Today it's real. <laughs> today it seemed like we crossed over into the, yeah, that might actually be a sinus infection. If not, it's just wicked allergies. Something. It sucks. Hey, you know what? Speaking of sucking, in a couple of minutes, let's talk about Japan. <laughs> okay. They they actually don't suck. This there, There's this something happening in Japan where I'm like, well, that's it. We're finally moving. Okay. I still can't believe you threw them away. 
I know. I know. I know. <laughs> It's all right. You know, you just have things that happen, and that's okay. I can't be trusted with pretty much anything. Like, you just, <laughs> I need somebody to live with me and hold, just. Hold your hand. Take care through, of your medicine. Through all my decisions. <laughs> Obadiah and Nikki tried their hardest, and that's what really matters. This is the worst of the Ryan podcast. I feel like this is something that we have actually talked about on the show that we were like, oh, we should, they should have this. Mm-hmm. And in Japan, they're getting it. They're now having it. It's a giant robot. No, it's not. It's, <laughs> they already have that. Yes, and you love that. I do. I do. <laughs> no, okay. So it is a Coca Cola subscription. Ooh, okay. So where you get different flavors, or what does it look like? It is, you download the Coke app. Yeah. And it's going to be. Uh, $25 per month, uh, but they're going to have a promotional offer, which for I don't know how long it'll last, it's only going to be about $13 a month. Nice. And you get uh, any kind of a Coke beverage once a day. So is it from a vending machine or yes. from a fountain machine? Well, my guess is, and it, you know, I didn't dive super deep into this uh, because a lot of it's in Japanese, uh, but it's from Coke vending machines mm-hmm. that are like branded Coke vending machines. I believe it would also be from like a freestyle machine if they were available. Vending machines are all over the place there. Yeah, it's different. Compared to here where it might be like in your office on the one floor, but or like normally you're getting it from a fountain drink machine here. But oh, it's pretty good. So how much a month if you get in now? 13? Uh, it would be 13. Well, <clears throat> it's starting in May, I believe. Uh, and then it's 13 at least for the first month. And then the price goes up. I don't know you know, how that continues or whatever. But uh, I can tell you that they are saying in Japan, like, as you were kind of saying, we convenience stores are a thing in Japan, but vending machines are much bigger there than they are here. Mm -hmm. And they say that during the pandemic, revenue on vending machines dropped 35%. Really? So now this is a way to try to build that up? Yes. They say that they are trying to get people back into the habit, which that's exactly what that would be. If you're paying for a subscription service, and you access it once a day, they say it takes 30 days to build a habit. And you, this is something that, again, it's not, you would, it would be a psychological addiction, kind of not a physical one. Yeah. Uh, but if you, every single day, like this would feed into your reward system. I go to this place, I get a sugary sweet reward when I go there. After 30 days. Oh, you're hooked. You would be. Oh, absolutely. You and would it, be. To us, you're like, oh, it's just you think you could get Coke. But remember, Coke has a bunch of stuff, so it counts with their coffee and their teas that they have, too. Right. So it's not like you have to just go get, like, a Diet Coke. You can go get a coffee. Right. And it, essentially, this would be anything in the Coca-Cola vending machine. So what sure. you're saying, but keeping in mind that there, that variety would be much larger than what you would see here. They have 340,000 vending machines that you can use, and it's the Coke on smartphone app. Not here. <laughs> Nothing's ever fun no, here. not here. Uh, so this is only in Japan, and for the limited time, jumping in part with the promotional thing twelve dollars and forty cents technically you can each month have one free coke machine or coke vending machine drink each day it's nice yeah right i want in (laughs) do we have that for the fountain drinks though like is there a fountain drink club i I have no i mean you know nikki uh at the duke and duchess that's where you go i go i download their app and for every six sodas i buy my seventh one is Free? Well, maybe they should look into to get people back in. And I'll tell you something else. I'm on the point system. So well, for are? every dollar I spend, I get points, whether it's on gasoline or purchases inside oh, the Duchess station. Oh, is that the one where you're and a I VIP? Can trade those, it sure is. Yeah. And I can trade those points for even more soda if I want to. You're in. Or other things. They're inside. <laughs> you're in. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not... It, one of the worst things that could happen to me is if you were like, we have a freestyle machine, and for $20 a month, you can have a drink a day. Look <laughs> out. Sold. Look out. I don't need even, that in my life, but I would totally want it. Even though I feel like for some of the promotional stuff here, that might not be as good of a deal as you think, because sometimes our drinks can get pretty cheap. It depends. You know, that I've... You know, the king of the cheap drink, let's face it. Speedway's mixes are bad. I don't want to hear about Aww, it. They're terrible. Sorry, guys. They are. And you're like, but they're cheap. No, you're, they're cheap for a reason. 
But I have found Circle K to be quite is that a good quite one? Quite a nice establishment, and the Polar Pop at thirty two ounces is only seventy nine cents. And Nikki, that's not a sale; that's the everyday that's price. That's the everyday price. Giving every novelty food the publicity it so blatantly desires. It's the riot on Radio U. Man, can you believe that Kanye West? Now this is a contested number. I'll tell you up front. But Kanye West is now supposed to be one of the richest men in history and maybe the richest, and I quote, black man in history because he's worth $6.6 billion. That is so much money. (laughs) That's crazy. Now, they. Oh, my God. That is being disputed by Forbes, who says that they that that is an overvaluing. And he's worth about one point eight billion. That's fine. I'd still be okay with that. That's, see, that's the <laughs> that's exactly what I thought. I was like, you know what? On the one hand, yes, if you said to me, would you like to have six billion dollars or one point eight billion? Sure. I'm gonna say six billion because if we're already in that territory, let's just keep going. <laughs> That being said, one point eight billion dollars. So they're saying that's down to the the Yeezy brand and his partnership with Adidas and Gap, uh, which has been valued between three point two billion and four point seven billion. So that's kind of the contested thing on how much is that actually really right, worth. Right. Uh, his deal with Adidas um, went up thirty one percent last year during COVID, so it actually improved by that. Uh, Yeezy's Adidas stuff brought in nearly $1.7 billion in sales. And that's just retail? That's just That's that. not even secondary retail, which so is crazy. They're saying for him, he would have made $191 million in royalties based on just his one Yeezy Adidas brand. Wow. I'll that's, take that. That is crazy. <laughs> See, I don't need all that. I just want to have one thing that gets me a little bit of it. I find myself, and I just, you know, a little thought experiment from time to time. The question is, if you were suddenly set free to do whatever Mm -hmm. you wanted, because that is exactly what that money would be. And I know we can be like, well, that kind of money is really, it's bondage at that point. It's not. No, listen, he could just go do what he wants for the rest of his life and no more business, no more whatever. He could just sell it all out, whatever, right? I don't even know. Like my my brain can't process what that lifestyle like if I was set free. I feel like I would still want to do the riot. But after that, <laughs> that'd be all it. bets are off. And you wouldn't have to do all the parts of it. You'd have a staff. I think I like would. driving you in, driving you back, bringing in breakfast. Absolutely. It would it would transform the way I would do it, Nikki. You and I would both like we would have several people in here making the show possible instead of us the two making people the show possible. making the show possible yeah, because that's fine. You know what? we're supposed to be doing the talking we couldn't possibly do any of the other work now we need to get a collab together because that seems to be where the money comes in uh his deal with the gap which is supposed to be in stores this summer they say they value it about 970 million dollars alone Wow. So for Kanye West, though it's being contested, six point six billion dollars. Man, again, like no, oh, you only have two billion. <laughs> <laughs> to everybody else, like all us normal people, you're like, okay, fine, just give me two billion, I'll take it. I feel so bad for him. <laughs> How to have that drop so low? But I mean, <laughs> you, you also just because you have money, remember, doesn't mean you don't have. Other things that all go on. Nikki, and would you say mo money, mo problems? I, I think your problems. Would you go that far? When you have so much money like that, your problems are just probably more expensive. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Still going to have the same problems, just on a different money level. You know how they say, like, you can't run from your problems? I feel like that's enough money to run from your problems. <laughs> But you probably always have that drive. Like, he seems, like, very creative, and he always has to keep doing that. So he couldn't just go somewhere and retire for the rest of his life, whereas we think we would. He has already had that thing where when we're like, I just sit on a beach. He's done that. And what you and I don't know, because we've never done it, is that eventually you get sick of that. Yeah. We just can't fathom that because we get to go for one day and we think we've gone to paradise. And I always want to live like this. He's like, no, I've done that. It's boring. I need to do something else. (laughs) We've never, we haven't gotten to that place. Willing to try, though. Remember, don't forget about that. I think we're all willing to try. Hey, nobody's shutting anything down, okay? (laughs) 
If you're looking for all the funny moments you missed during the riot, we apologize. You won't find them here. There, there weren't any. This is the worst of the riot podcast. The rumor is true that you probably haven't heard. So let me tell you the rumor and the truth of it. Uh, Amazon has signed a deal to become the exclusive home of the NFL's Thursday night football. Oh, really? Between now and 2033. Wow, that's a long deal. That is a long deal. 12 years they, that they have that. I guess they're confident enough in it. They did some uh, other NFL wait. stuff in the past. So. The deal starts in 2023, so it's a 10-year deal. Oh, gotcha. Uh, so, But it's coming up. They will be, uh, it's the NFL's first exclusive national broadcast package with a digital streaming service. Hmm. Hmm. So, uh, and it will also be increasing the number of Thursday night football games from 11 to to 15. Oh, they got to do more. And if you want to see, and, and, and there's more. <laughs> and if you want to watch it, you have to have Amazon Prime. Oh, it will be for that. And that's so crazy. Like, just well, the, they assume I, most people have it for other reasons. We don't have Amazon Prime for the Prime, like, movie TV lineup. We don't have uh, it for that. We still have it for the shipping stuff. Amazon Prime is the place where I. Well, actually, I guess all it's streaming got, fits this, but I always, there are things on there where I'm like, I would really like this. It's gotten better, but yeah. I just never, I forget to go over there. Yes, I agree. Though I, like I've used there, now that I have an Amazon Alexa device, I like, I am more likely to stream things from Amazon than I used to be. Uh, but man, I, it's not going to be yeah. football. I, well, <laughs> you know, it just amazes me the amount of money, like if. It, it actually reminds me of when I was a kid collecting comics, and it was like you would buy, let's say you had one comic book that you really liked. And so what Marvel would do is they would have these crossover events. So you had to buy anywhere from 10 to 20 comics that you never bought if you wanted to get the entire story. Mm -hmm. And that's like what you get with the NFL, where it's like, hey, do you want to watch the NFL? All right, you're going to need the NFL Network, the NFL app, ESPN, Fox Sports, your broadcast channels. And we're also going to have to get you to grab Amazon Prime. It's like, man, are you kidding? So for Thursday, again, we don't watch. We only watch college football, basically. But for Thursday night, you would have to watch on Amazon. Yeah. It would still be broadcast on network. And this would be its digital provider. I mean, unless I am not understanding it. It would just be there. It's just there. But then like Sunday, that would be its normal no, stuff. That, all of that That's other stuff is unaffected. Gotcha. But the Thursday night games would exist only here. Now, again, maybe I'm there's like fine print and I'm not getting it. Maybe there's still some broadcast outlets that'll get it. I don't know. But... That's the deal. It will for sure be on Amazon Prime. You just have to go to Amazon and be like, yeah, you can only watch here on Thursday. You're like, fine, I just won't watch it. <laughs> I wasn't going to watch it anyways. It's all right. <laughs> I, you know, I'm not this guy. I like but football. I just, I, I still prefer college football. I, I don't really know anybody like this who is like obsessive about mm -hmm. the NFL, but uh, they're out there. Or well, I don't know if the Sunday game football fan would be caring about the Thursday football games enough to, or you're just like, nope, as long as you don't mess with the Sunday thing. I don't know. You know what, Nikki? We'll have to find one and ask him. Where do you go when you need someone to listen to your problems and give you a big hug? Not here. Obviously. This is The Riot on Radio U. So my new hobby now is trying to buy an Xbox, and um, it's... It has been a fascinating thing to spend time doing this because, like, there is there's one or two, like, video game deals accounts that I follow on Twitter. Yeah. And they're on Twitter and Instagram and all this stuff. So and, they'll tell you when someone's supposed to get a shipment or start selling some? Right. But then it starts turning into, like, people who are, like, trying to, like, hack websites, figure out whatever. And so there's a guy. Now, I want you to keep in mind what I'm about to tell you. It, to me, it just feels made up, but I don't know. There's a guy alleging mm -hmm. that at some point today, Amazon is going to do a PlayStation 5 drop. And by the way, that's that's what they call them. It's a drop. Yeah, when they okay. suddenly have some stuff to sell. Just in case anybody needs some insider info, you're like, when's the next drop? I wouldn't want you to say something like, when is the next time they'll become available for purchase at the well, website? Well, then you just sound dumb, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> you got to use the right lingo. I'm trying to help you here, okay? <laughs> so the next drop, they said it could be 10 a.m. Eastern or 
it could be 1 p.m. Eastern. Mm. I've seen both. This guy claims that. And from where? Amazon? Amazon will have over 40,000 PlayStation 5s to sell today. Now that feels like a lot, but I bet you it's not. That's what I. Is that a normal drop number? That's what I started wondering because yesterday I tried to buy an Xbox. It literally sold out in less than a second. Did you see Gavin's text? No. He texted he got a Series X yesterday from Walmart. Screw you, Gavin! Yeah, that's the one. Okay, now, is that intense there? Obi was trying from Walmart yesterday to get it, so you got it, and he did not. What I mean to say is, Gavin, congratulations, congratulations that you were able to get one. And, like, that's how, long, wonderful. how long will it take you to physically get it in? You wish you would have gotten it for the weekend. Oh, yeah. Like, that's... I. That that is a real bummer. Aww, it's like, but yay, yeah, good for you. Well, yeah, really, seriously, dude. I'm glad you were able to get one. But uh, that's well, maybe today you'll get one from Amazon. You yeah. shouldn't have told everybody the details. You should have just told them on Monday. Like, no, did listen. you know about the forty thousand Xbox no, Series? No, no, no. I, this is X drop on Amazon. This is not an Xbox thing. It's a PlayStation thing. Oh, PlayStation. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, never and, mind. Uh, Nikki, I, you may not know this, but there are different console manufacturers. Yes, I understand. Okay. You already have a PlayStation, so yeah. you're fine. Um, and so listen to the entitled spoiled man on the radio whining. Yay! <laughs> well, I mean that is a. A staple. But, but the thing, I'm just telling you, the thing that I am fascinated by is why watching these people who are like, hey, 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 I heard from a guy who knows a friend, knows yeah, whatever, feels like that. that I got to log in, that let me for a brief second look at an inventory number. Now, the names aren't on the inventory, but if you memorize the numbers, you can see the numbers here. And then if you run those past the Russian number station that's broadcasting outside of town, <laughs> and then you divide them sure. by pi, it shows you that there could be up to 40,000 PlayStation 5s. Or we're going to be invaded. I'm not sure which one it is, but something's going to happen. Gavin said his is going to be delivered April 8th. So you have a little bit of time. A couple weeks. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, a couple weeks. Well, dude, I hope that you get it. I hope you really enjoy it. So PlayStation, that's the Amazon thing today. Otherwise, the Series X stuff. Can we say allegedly again? Allegedly? (laughs) Can we go ahead and use that term one more time? No one else knows on the Xbox. It really is because everybody got their stimulus to Oh, it is. (laughs) It's everybody still wants a console it really is that it's gonna be still harder to get for a long time it's all of those things this is the worst of the riot on radio you (laughs) nikki you've got tattoos i do okay um how hard did you research the tattoo artist before you got them um the first place i went to i should have researched more for the first two that i got and then i went to another place that was more reputable so it's not like i went in there wanting a particular person Mm -hmm. but i i liked the guy enough that then i went there for the rest of them okay and i i went to him even though i got them over an amount of time so there are some people that are enormously particular about who their tattoo artist is going to be especially if you're really looking for a particular style of tattoo i totally understand understand that and that's what makes this even more interesting to me because uh t-mobile teamed up with a tattoo artist in i believe the tattoo artist is in london and the person is in the netherlands and uh the guy in london used t-mobile's 5g wireless network and this robotic arm to apply a tattoo oh on the person to the person that's oh, right oh so he was over there was able to tell the robotic arm to do the design uh-huh. so from where he was if you look at it he basically has it's not exactly what the robot arm is like but he essentially has this tattoo tool yeah that uh, tracks his movement and he has a, a fake arm laid out in front of him mm. and he's working on that arm and it's synced up with her. This actress's arm, and so there is a robot in the Netherlands that is applying these movements and motions yeah. to her arm. So, just from looking at it, first couple of thoughts about this is the robotic arm on her end, where she's getting the tattoo, looks like a Dyson to me. It just has <laughs> That's that color. Fair. Yeah, okay. and I know you're like, oh, T-Mobile with the five G network. I don't know what they do to it, but that's not going to be the 5G network that you get. (laughs) Yours won't be as clear and uninterrupted as maybe their connection is. Oh, wow. There's something about this robot drawing on her skin that's creepy to me. Oh, on the video? Yeah. Like, if you watch the video, it's like what they did was they put a... uh, 
basically band-aids or they may not be band-aids but something all around the area where the tattoo was going to be i'm sure to kind of like mark out that spot on her skin uh no 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 i don't want to do that (laughs) so is she actually getting it or is is it just being printed on the band-aid no, no, no. I, it's I mean, actually on her skin? Yeah, isn't, that's her actual skin in between the band-aids. It does. It looks like it, but for a moment, it yeah, looked, it looked could, like, what are you guys playing at? I could see that. <laughs> well, that's interesting. That's a, a thought of if you wanted to get a particular style of a tattoo, and that artist who specialized in that was not even in your country, yeah. you could maybe find a way to still be able to get some work done by that person. It seems to me remotely. that it would be... I would almost rather have a robot do it, but, you know, along the lines of, like, maybe you just stick your arm in something and it prints it. Oh, and then you pull your arm out? Yeah, and then, like, it's done, so it's almost like a... But then your arm is stuck in the thing. You can't get it out? (laughs) It cuts it off. (laughs) I just see that happening for the first couple of test runs. I mean, to be clear... Not me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not I know you don't arm. ever want one. I don't want to do it. But for somebody else. <laughs> well, it'd be more. Well, I mean, you want tattoos in different places. So that would only be if you wanted it on your arm. Yeah, I guess that's true. So Man. Kyle texted, is it like, you'll know the answer, Obi. Is it like when they get the tattoos in Starship Troopers? Oh, <laughs> uh, boy. I don't remember. You don't remember? May- maybe. I can't. Didn't those tattoos, weren't they applied by a laser? Or were, I, I, I don't remember, actually. Uh, the way that worked. So well, I thought you would, Kyle. We don't you know the think, answer. Would I would think, think that, that would. you would, but there's, we got him. He doesn't know the answer. To I that. mean, I remember that the only good bug is a dead bug, that's, but I don't remember the tattoos. That's important. Well, it's neat to see the video of it if you are into tattoos. It's just a unique way to get something done with the robot while the artist is in another country. Now, even though I don't have a tattoo, I will throw out the advice that you really should take a good look at your tattoo artist because. Uh, AJ, who used to be a part of the Radio U family, <laughs> had one of the worst tattoos I'd ever seen. And he, even after he told me what it was, I had to stare at it for a very long time before I understood it. AJ, he he listens in Minnesota. Yeah. And every time I see you on That's Facebook. That's all I think like, about. That's all we think about. That's all I think Maybe about. Did he just color it in or? I think he got just a black box yeah, over it. Yeah, just to cover it up. <laughs> well, I have a feeling in the T-Mobile <laughs> thing, so the artist, the tattoo artist on this one's probably pretty well known. I think you're right. He's not a new one. I think you're right. <laughs> the riot is well-versed on many different topics. They're shy at first, but they're quite skilled at conversation. This is The Riot on Radio U. Who answers their phone? Anybody? Mm-mm. No, we no never good answer comes our phone. From that. Yeah, I mean, sometimes <laughs> unless it's you guys here in the studio, but that's different. But your ho- like your own personal phone, no one's answering that. No way. Like if my phone rings, it's like it's certainly not somebody I know. And of course, you get that number that's like an area code you've never heard of, and they're calling. It's like, oh yeah, oh, no, I'll I've... answer this phone. Call. Oh no, I find like what's the worst trick is it's it's close enough to numbers that you do know. Yes, I see it that is too. Local number. And you're like, wait, how'd this happen? Well, I'll see it sometimes, and it kind of like what you said, it'll be like a couple of numbers off, and you're like, no, I really think I know that number. And you don't. You don't. They tricked you. Yeah. <laughs> and so those are robocalls, and they are a real pain. So the FCC has fined two telemarketers in Texas for these illegal phone calls that they're making. Mm-hmm. Now, they are finding them, what was it, like 30 cents a call, 25 cents a call. It's an amount that to you probably doesn't seem like very much, except they made about a billion robocalls. That's so much money. So the fine for the two telemarketers is $225 million. $225 million. I bet they never pay. No, they'll never pay that It just money. disappears. By the I love this. Uh, they've collected six thousand dollars. Oh, from the robocalls, or no? They collected from the companies. Yeah, that's all they've got. They'll never yeah. get it. So uh, that's, that's why the threat of that doesn't even make other robocall companies worried. Well, and a lot of them probably don't even come from inside the house. Sure, they're probably from another country or some offshore whatever. And they and the other thing that I just find myself thinking is it must work. Because to us, we're like, I'm not answering that call. That's stupid, whatever. Mm -hmm. But there has got to be some people out there answering the phone, giving their credit card information and actually going through with this, or they wouldn't do it. Has anybody actually fallen for the vehicle warranty thing? (laughs) 
please say no. And does robocalls count, like, when it is the recording stuff? Or would a robocall still count if it was someone? If there's a person? Yeah, because sometimes you'll hear the recording and then it goes to someone. And I wasn't sure, like, which version that is. I actually don't know. I believe it would be both. Mm-hmm. Uh, because, And I think the reason, uh, like, what makes it a robocall is the fact that they're calling from a list Mm -hmm. and there is actually software that's making that phone call and stuff there's a robocall response team (laughs) i love it it, but it's like so many other things in this world where it's like oh yeah they're you know we're gonna punish you by doing whatever it is that we're gonna do but when you don't follow through on the punishment who cares yeah like so they're saying that you know the 225 million dollar fine uh for the approximately 1 billion robocalls to people in the United States from these two businesses that for people, it needs to be a higher amount per call than what they're charging them. And there needs to be jail time instead. Oh, totally. I mean, it. if you're telling me that you're going to send me to jail, I'm concerned. If you're going to hand me a bill I don't have to pay, well, I'll nope. see you later. No one's as concerned. I'll see you later. The Riot, Riot. Podcast. Radio. You. The PlayStation 5, unbelievably hard to get. And they've made some announcements. They're giving away a bunch of free games, uh, which I thought that was kind of cool. It's like PlayStation at home or something like that. Mm -hmm. So Horizon Zero Dawn and then a few other games I've never played that I was kind of interested in. You know, they're just rubbing it in in case you don't have one yet. Yes. And then (laughs) they are also, uh, they unveiled yesterday their PlayStation 5 virtual reality controllers. Do they still do virtual reality then? No, that was the thing is they actually made a big stink saying like, we're not doing any more virtual reality. They said the market's not there. Like they, there was just a lot of kind of things they said at the launch of the PlayStation. And then, I don't know, a month ago, they were like, <laughs> just kidding. We're so doing a PlayStation 5 VR. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and not because enough people were concerned. It probably they already had it in development. It was like, well, I'll just push it through. I imagine that's true. And so the PS5 VR, they showed off the controllers. If you care about this kind of thing, they look, I wouldn't say identical, but nearly identical to Oculus Rift or uh, Oculus Quest mm-hmm. uh, hands. Uh, the only difference is there's kind of these circles of light. That's not what they are. Okay, they're these plastic circles, and they emit light, but it's light that you can't see. And you put your hand in it? And you put your hand in it. So it whereas, goes around your wrist? Yes, whereas in the Oculus, you put your hand, and it goes kind of around the top of your hand. Sure. This looks like it'll go around more closer to your wrist. Like uh, a bracelet or handcuffs. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> or handcuffs. <laughs> Not saying you're attached to your virtual reality thing, not at all. I think that's what you're saying. But it does it does look it'd be more sturdy, or you feel like it less likely to let go of them. I think they look nice. Like they they're a good looking they're very much, you know, like riffs on a theme, but I don't know. Looks fine to me. I'm not in any (laughs) you know what? I'm just not good at this stuff where people are like this is the worst. Or, you know, just find that YouTube video that's like 20 minutes of about talking about wrong. the implications of it and why they've made the wrong design. And I'm just like, eh, it looks whatever. fine. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know if PlayStation, I'm sure PlayStation prefers your approach than the people who automatically hate everything. Thumb goes here, finger goes there. All right. Yeah, well, PlayStation, though, can't, can't think that just because we don't hate it doesn't mean we want it. But it does look nice. I don't know. I'll be curious to see how much they want to charge for it. Yeah. Because I will say... That if you care about virtual reality at all, the Oculus Quest 2 is a heck of a thing. That's the Facebook one? Yes. That is a... I am surprised by the quality of the experiences that I have with that Oculus Quest 2. And, I mean, it was $300, which is not inexpensive. But for virtual reality, is not as expensive as it can go. Well, and it's all built in. Sure. So it doesn't have to plug into anything. It, You know, it is its own standalone item. And that, to me, is what makes it actually really impressive. What if you watch the Justice League thing in a theater on your virtual reality this weekend? Uh, I, Well, it wouldn't be in 3D, so I don't... Oh, yeah, I guess. I'd rather just see it. Because, I mean, as nice as, like, some VR is, when it comes to actually watching video content... Not the same. Video and VR is fine, but it's not going to be the resolution and the pixel density that you would see just watching your TV. You're right, and you're you're really into making sure the quality is the, the best as it can be Yeah, when I'm, you're ready to watch it. I'm, I would say I'm in the 95th percentile. There are people that are reaching pretty high above me, but... 
Uh, I do You're really pretty, enjoy. Pretty close to making sure it's as the best as possible. Where some of us are like, with what yeah, I have. My phone's fine, <laughs> and some you're so tired when you're watching something. I'll just set it to the side and I'll just listen. <laughs> you don't even want to watch it. <laughs> I might do that with some things. <laughs> the right, not, not everyone's, everyone's fan. I wonder whose idea this was. Radio, you, son, you're in Denton, Texas, and we do things different in Denton. <laughs> Welcome to Legends Diner. Now. Legends Diner is just that. It's a well-known restaurant there in Denton, Texas. Now, I've never been there, mm-hmm. uh, but somebody somewhere has, and they've they've made a little decision. From now on, if you come in the diner and you're not wearing a mask, and they're saying, hey, they're mandatory in the diner, whether you like it or not. Whether you think, you know, Texas said no, but an establishment still has the right to make their rules for their place. And so they're saying uh, they'll charge you 50 bucks. Yeah. So this was the it. one where the, I saw this on Facebook a lot yesterday. Okay. So basically a picture of the front of the diner with the sign. And they're saying they got this from a place in Oregon. <laughs> the idea what, to do it. Here's what I like. $50 if I have to explain why masks are mandatory, mm-hmm. 70, 75 if I have to hear why you disagree. Really? I love that. <laughs> now, I haven't been to a place where I've seen someone, like, say no or go in or cause like, trouble. throw a fit. I've only seen it basically just in, you know, forums where they are there solely to show videos of this. <laughs> Public freak out. But I just didn't know, like, has anybody else been around someone uh, saying no if you're supposed to in that place? I just wonder what I would do. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't, haven't. either. I watched a guy uh, one time I was walking in and somebody was like, hey, you need to wear a mask. And he said, I have COPD or whatever it is. It's a it's a, dis, a lung disorder. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is not fair because people have that. Like when we do the fight for air climb, like yeah. that's one of the things we talk about. And uh, you just look at him, and you're like, well, maybe he does. <laughs> Maybe but. <laughs> like, I don't know. So who knows? I could see some people I know just yelling that as they go sprinting down the aisle and obviously don't have it. I feel so. the worst because I've seen a lot of the uh, people who have to deal with the person walking in uh, oh, yeah. with so much of that. And they just break down with it. But in this case, you know, if they have to, they say they charge you, even though they haven't had anybody take advantage of Not this yet. policy. Well, I feel like since this has made national news, they're begging for it now. Well, at least everybody's gone to take pictures of the sign, but they're not actually going in. Okay. So I don't know so if So nobody's ends, coming in to eat. I don't know if that ends up helping or hurting your business, but uh, they said no one's come in at least to try without wearing a mask. I might be willing to go in and give old Legends Diner a try. Maybe it's good. <laughs> diner food could be good. Diner food can be very good. And the other. This was the worst of the riot, and we'd like to congratulate you on having the stomach to stick around to the very end. The riot exists because Radio U exists, and Radio U only exists because of your support. Find out more and give now at RadioU.com slash donate. I You're going to be dead and rotting, <laughs> and I'm going to be sitting by your grave drinking a cup of joe.